The Roloffs, as you almost definitely know at this point, star in the TLC reality show Little People Big World. However, the network may soon need to change this title. For what reason? Because the popular family is exclusively focused on just one small pocket of the world these days. Throughout last season, and through the first couple episodes of this ongoing season, Matt Roloff and the future of the farm he runs has been a pressing topic of conversation. First, the father of four negotiated with ex-wife Amy to buy out a portion of her stake in the business. Then he negotiated with her again to buy his ex out completely, a topic that was covered in depth on this past Tuesday's episode. Matt approached to buy me out and this was definitely a better time because now that I'm in my new house, there's not as much grey area anymore," Amy remarked in a confessional, acknowledging that she was set to embark on a farm-free chapter of her life. Amy, of course, is also set to marry Chris Merrick. She's had a lot to look forward to, away from the farm. Matt, meanwhile, has hinted here and there that he's getting ready for retirement. He now owns a home in Arizona with girlfriend Karen Chandler, which he frequents during the winter, but seems open to living in full-time if and when the occasion arises. First, however, he'd need to find a buyer for Roloff Farms. Could Zach Roloff take it over? Yes, this door has now been open. One thing Tori and me talked about, we've talked about maybe we can move in here, Zach said last year, catching his mom off guard at the time. Maybe we can be the ones that take over the farm, buy the place. Again, this season, meanwhile, Zach has touched on this possibility. When my mom moved off the farm, I put my hat in the ring to possibly buy her out on the north side, he told Gears, adding. We've tabled the discussion for now, though, because our long-term farm employee decided to rent out the house for a few months. What about Jeremy Roloff? He and wife Audrey left Little People Big World in 2018 and have gone on to create a podcast and write two books. They wouldn't really seem to be a candidate, partly because Audrey doesn't get along well with her in-laws either. However, Audrey was recently asked by a follower why she and Jeremy had made an offer on the farm, and she replied that they had, seemingly doing so with a bitter tone. What about Jacob Roloff? He would seem to be an unlikely option, simply because Jacob and wife Isabel are keen on just traveling around the Pacific Northwest in their RV. The thing is, Isabel referenced future babies on her Instagram page, specifically how she would love to raise them someplace where they can roam free. Moreover, during an appearance on the First Class Fatherhood podcast, Matt talked about Jacob's interest in microbiology and the science of soil. We know he loves to be outside, that's for sure. What about Molly Roloff? Nope. She's very happy living a few hours away from the farm with her husband Joel. So yes, the future of the farm remains very much up in the air at the moment, but maybe that's okay. Is Matt really retiring in the near future? I do, you know, talk about, only in the context that I want to reduce the amount of work. He said in the aforementioned podcast last week, trying to quiet talk of him outright leaving it behind by adding, There is no serious real talk about retirement, certainly no timeline. That's it for now, thank you for watching, please subscribe to stay tuned.